Taylor Swift is a pop princess with a Midas touch. Everything she turns to gold, from her chart-topping albums to her sold-out stadium tours. But behind the glitz and glamour is a young woman who has overcome adversity to become one of the most successful entertainers in the world. Taylor Swift is one of the most successful and influential pop stars of her generation. She was born in West Reading, Pennsylvania, in 1989, and began her music career at a young age. She signed her first record deal at the age of 15 and released her self-titled debut album in 2006. The album was a commercial success, selling over 4 million copies in the United States. Swift's early albums were classified in the country music genre. But she began to experiment with pop music on her third album, Speak Now, 2010. The album was a critical and commercial success, winning Album of the Year at the Grammy Awards. Swift's next album, Red, 2012, was even more successful, spawning the hit singles I Knew You Were Trouble, 22, and We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together. Swift continued to experiment with different genres on her subsequent albums, 1989, 2014, Reputation, 2017, Lover, 2019, and Folklore, 2020. All of her albums have been commercial and critical successes, and she has won numerous awards, including 11 Grammy Awards. Swift is known for her honest and relatable songwriting, which often chronicles her personal experiences, including love, heartbreak, and self-discovery. She is also a vocal advocate for artists' rights and has been outspoken against streaming services that pay low royalties to artists. In 2021, Swift re-recorded her first six albums in response to a dispute with her former record label. Swift has over 200 million followers on Instagram and over 80 million followers on Twitter. She has also been named one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People in the World on multiple occasions. Here is an interesting and entertaining story from the start of Taylor Swift's career. When Taylor Swift was first starting out in the music industry, she was rejected by many record labels. She was told that she was too young, that she didn't look like a typical country singer, and that her songs were too personal. But Swift didn't give up. She kept writing songs and performing, and eventually she caught the attention of Scott Borchetta, the founder of Big Machine Records. Borchetta was impressed by Swift's songwriting and her determination. He offered her a record deal, and she signed with Big Machine in 2005. Swift was just 15 years old at the time. Swift's self-titled debut album was released in 2006, and it was an immediate success. The album sold over 4 million copies in the United States and spawned the hit singles Tim McGraw and Teardrops on My Guitar. Swift's success was unprecedented for such a young artist. Swift's success story is an inspiration to young people everywhere. It shows that it is possible to achieve your dreams, no matter what obstacles you face.